Good afternoon. Proud parents and family, honorable guests, esteemed faculty, staff, and finally and most importantly to the members of the class of 2014, good afternoon and welcome to the 125th edition of the Ridley College Prize Giving Ceremony. I'd like to begin by reading a short passage. We feel great pride and gratification in welcoming you within our walls and in giving you the freedom of the place where we carry on the main business of our lives as seekers after the wisdom, the scene of the many labors of much joy and sometimes of small sorrow. We welcome you today especially because it is a great day of rejoicing with us and we feel that you are here to congratulate us in our happiness. Ladies and gentlemen, these welcoming words were spoken 125 years ago in June of 1890 on the occasion of the then nascent Ridley College's first prize day. Delivered by our first headmaster, Reverend J. O. Miller, they are words and concepts such as wisdom, labor, joy, sorrow, and happiness still refreshingly relevant to our modern Ridley context. My name is Edward Kidd, and as Reverend Miller, Miller did 125 years ago, I welcome our guests as today's graduation ceremony and thank you for joining us for this important ritual. I know that many of our families have traveled from afar and have completed long journeys, both literal journeys as well as figurative journeys, to get here today. And on behalf of the Ridley community, I thank you for making those journeys. Life's not always easy. Some of you already know this, and some of you have yet to learn or experience it. Believe me, when I tell you that those of us in this room with a few more years in our chronological clocks understand this, I think, though, it's worthwhile to mention because you can't and won't escape it. Whether you bomb an exam, have a relationship go bad, lose someone close to you, you pick the problem. The odds are something tough is coming your way and sooner probably than later. We all experience tough times. This is one of life's immutable laws. So if adversity is inevitable, the really important factor is what one does in the face of it. Vince Lombardi, the legendary Green Bay Packers football coach, had a simple but insightful way of asking and answering this question. Lombardi once said to his, to his team, it's not the fact that you get knocked down that matters. Rather, it's what you do when you get back up that counts. He understood that we all face challenges and will all experience setbacks. Know this, accept it, prepare for it, but by no means resign yourself to it. It's up to you to make your way. Take comfort in the fact that you'll never walk alone. As evidence of this, just look around this room. But understand that the real difference maker in your life will always be yourself. The student who has attained the highest average of the best six grade 12 courses. And the Governor General's Medal awarded to the graduating student with the highest overall of all grade 11 and 12 Ontario Ministry of Education courses. In this particular case, honorable mention goes out to Kennedy Marsdorf and Anika Ratniaki. Both these prizes are awarded to Elizabeth Gross. The C.W. Dorland Trophy is awarded to the girl who has contributed the most to the girls' athletic program, either through proficiency or zeal. This young lady has grown into a role as a leader over the last two years at this school and was a hands-down pick by her peers for this award. Please join me in congratulating our Female Athlete of the Year, Alyssa Tofolo. The J.P. Matheson Memorial Trophy is awarded to the boy on a first team who has made the best of his own ability in Ridley Athletics during the year. This young man has played on teams in four different competitive sports in his career, including three different first teams this year. And he's one of the few athletes that has made all of us jump out of our seats on a regular basis. Please congratulate your Male Athlete of the Year, Nick Green. Miss Mason is the granddaughter of Jay Herbert Mason, uh, an award which has been presented to uh, students at Ridley College for more than a century. Awarded by the vote of the students of the upper school to the prefect who is distinguished for strength and independence of character and judgment, 
understanding and caring of others, and devotion to the school and upholding the responsibilities of leadership, the J. Herbert Mason Gold Medal is awarded to Jesus Serrano Sendeja. You have organized dances. You've set off fireworks. Some of you even set off firecrackers. You have experienced Dean's House fire alarms. You have delivered inspiring speeches in chapel in the Mandible Theatre. You have had concussions and broken bones. You've made many good decisions and won many moral victories. You've made some bad decisions and served many red gatings. You've played soccer and field hockey and rugby and even frisbee on A Squad. You've cuddled in the hammock near Iggy. I have seen you. You have read Gabriel Garcia Marquez. You have created wonderful art. You've won national awards for essays. You've spent hours in the Learning Center. You've studied well in the wee hours of the morning. You've collaborated with adults in dreaming about and planning for Ridley's future. You've worried sick about university applications and acceptances. You've been gymnastic champions and hockey gods and goddesses and sank three-pointers to win basketball games. You've cried when you were told that you were a prefect. You were cried when you were told that you would not be a prefect. You have dazzled on the stage and you've danced like a mad wizard on the castle stairs. Denrick. <laughs> you've left your audience slack-jawed with the beauty and power of your voice and today teary-eyed and teary-eyed by the truth of your performance and you've been mentors and role models to your younger colleagues. You have screamed deep in the heart of the Ridley jungle and you've inspired our youngest students and alumni alike with we want to train, we want to train. You've left your parents proud, your teachers inspired, and your headmaster thankful. Thank you for being Ridley's 125th class and thank you for making 125 such a memorable number. In closing, we are very proud of you, and in advance, we're proud of the great work that you are bound to achieve. Congratulations to the class of 2014, and remember, once a tiger, always a tiger. Ladies and gentlemen, we introduce to you the class of 2014.